our progress report says we are at stage four, paragraph page 264. Stage four, 264. Okay, and our last head word was hope, new work type of lesson. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's start with revision. Ready? Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. First question. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between the noun practice and the verb practice? What's the difference between the noun practice and the verb practice? The difference between the, difference the noun between practice, the noun practice and, the verb practice and the verb practice is that we spell that the noun spell with a, a noun. C. With a C. And we spell the verb and we spell the with verb an S. With, with an, an S. S. Very good. What's a polite way of communicating that you want something? What's a polite way of communicating that you want something? A polite way. Of communicating, of communicating that you want something, you want to something is to say I would like. Is to say I would like. Greg, give me an example. Give me an example, please. I would like a cup of like tea. A cup of tea. I would like to watch. I would like to watch that TV program. That TV program. Greg, what can we say when we offer something to somebody? What can we say when we offer something to somebody? When we offer something, when we offer something to somebody, to we can somebody, say, "Would you like?" We can say, "Would you like?" Greg, give me an example. Give me an example, please. Would you like a cup of like tea? A cup of tea. Would you like to go to Would the you cinema? Like to, go to the cinema. Very good. Can we learn a lot by visiting different countries? Can we learn a lot by visiting different countries? Yes, we can yes. learn a lot. We can learn a by lot. visiting. Different right, countries. Different countries. Where do you visit any new places last month? Did you visit any new places last month? Yes or no? Yes. I visited, I visited some new places. Some new places. Last month. Last month. Where good. Would you like to visit Australia in the future? Would you like to visit Australia in the future? Yes or no? Yes. I would like I'd to like, visit I would Australia. Like to visit Australia in the future. In the future. Very good. What's the difference between use and use? What's the difference between use and use? The difference between difference use between and use, use and is that use is the verb, whereas use is the noun. Very good. What's the use of a pen? What's the use of a pen? The use of a pen the use of a is pen. for writing. It's for writing. Very good. What's the use in studying languages? What's the use in studying languages? The use the in use studying languages in studying is to make it possible, to make it possible for us to speak or, to people, or, for us or, to speak, or us to speak to people from to people other countries. From other countries. Very good. Give me an example of the word therefore. Give me an example of the word therefore, please. I want to learn English, I want well. To learn English well. Therefore, I must study. Therefore, I must study. Very good. Can you hear the sound of my pen on the table? Can you hear the sound of my pen on the table? Yes. Yes. I can hear the can sound hear the of sound your pen on the table. On the table. Can you hear the sound of traffic at the moment? Can you hear the sound of traffic at the moment? Yes or no? No. I can't hear I can't the sound hear of traffic. Sound of traffic at the moment. At the moment. Do you think the English language sounds pleasant? Do you think the English language sounds pleasant? Yes or no? Yes. I think the English, think language, English language sounds pleasant. Sounds pleasant. Do I sound angry at the moment? Do I sound angry at the moment? No, you don't no, sound angry don't at the sound moment. Angry at the moment. Is your house completely silent at night, or can you hear street noise? Is your house completely silent at night, or can you hear street noise? My house is My house completely is silent completely at night. Silent at night. Very good. Okay, what's the difference between a uh, and an? What's the difference between a uh, and an? The difference between a uh, and uh, an is and that we is use a uh, before uh, a consonant sound, consonant sound, whereas we use yeah, an we, and before a vowel sound. Vowel sound. Give me an example of each. Give me an example of each, please. A book. An a apple. Book. An apple. Give me an example of the. Give me an example of the. The chair is red. The chair is red. Give me an example of the. Give me an example of the. The apple is red. The apple is red. Very good. Why do we say the use and not the use? 
why do we say the use and not the use? We say the use we say the and use not the use. And not the use. Because the word use because starts word use with a consonant sound. Start start with the consonant, consonant. sound. Very good. Is it right to say a hour or an hour? Is it right to say a hour or an hour? It's right to say it's an right hour. It's right to say an hour. Why? Why? Because the letter, because H, the letter H in the word hour the is word silent. Hour, it's silent. Very good. Did you fail to answer the last question? Did you fail to answer the last question? No, I didn't no, fail to answer I didn't fail the last answer question. The, la, the last question. Very good. I succeed in answering. I succeeded. I succeed in I succeeded answering. in answering the last question. In answering after the last. Well, again, one more. After. No. I didn't fail no, I to didn't answer fail the last question. The last question. I, succeeded I succeeded in answering the last question. The last question. Very good. If you try hard, do you think you'll succeed in learning English well? If you try hard, do you think you'll succeed in learning English well? Yes. If yes. I try hard, I, try I hard, think I'll succeed. I think I succeed in learning English in well. Learning English well. What's the opposite of to fail an exam? What's the opposite of to fail an exam? The opposite of the opposite to fail an exam, fail an e e exam, exam is to pass an exam. Is to pass an exam. An exam. Very good. Do you think you'll pass the stage exam at the end of this book? Do you think you'll pass the stage exam at the end of this book? Yes, I think yes, I'll pass. I think I'll the, pass stage the stage exam at the end of this book. At the end of this book. Very good. If you fail an examination, do you always take it again? If you fail an examination, do you always take it again? Yes or no? No. If I fail an, if examination, I fail an examination, I don't always take I it don't again. Always take it again. Do people generally succeed in getting what they want if they try hard enough? Do people generally succeed in getting what they want if they try hard enough? Yes, people, yes, generally, succeed people generally succeed in getting what they want, getting what they want if, they try hard enough. if they try hard enough. Very good. What can we say instead of I must study? What can we say instead of I must study? Instead of I must instead study, of, I we must can study. say I have to we study. Say, I have to study. Do you have to eat if you want to live? Do you have to eat if you want to live? Yes, yes I have to, I eat have to eat if I want to live. If I want to live. Did you have to get up early yesterday morning? Did you have to get up early yesterday morning? Yes or no? Yes. I had to get up. I had to get up early yesterday morning. Early yesterday morning. Will you have to wait if you arrive too early for the next lesson? Will you have to wait if you arrive too early for the next lesson? Yes, I'll have yes. to wait. I have to, if have I'm, to wait. Or I'll have to wait. I'll have to wait. If I arrive too if early arrive too for early. the next lesson. For the next lesson. Very good. Which is it right to say you mustn't smoke in this building or you don't have to smoke in this building? Which is it right to say you mustn't smoke in this building or you don't have to smoke in this building? It's right to say it's right to you say, mustn't smoke you must, in this field mustn't building. Smoke in this building. Which is it right to say I mustn't get up early on Saturday or I don't have to get up early on Saturday? Which is it right to say I mustn't get up early on Saturday or I don't have to get up early on Saturday? It's right to say it's right to I say, don't have to get up early on Saturday. On Saturday. Very good. Must you study if you want to learn English? Must you study if you want to learn English? Yes, I must study yes, if I, I study want to learn if English. I want to learn English. Must you study 10 hours a day if you want to learn English? Must you study 10 hours a day if you want to learn English? No, I don't no, have to study. I don't have to, to study. 10 hours a day. Ten, ten, or, two, no, yes. I don't have no, to study. I don't have to study. 10 hours a day ten hours if a day. I want to learn if English. I want to learn English. Very good. How do we sometimes form a noun from a verb? How do we sometimes form a noun from a verb? We sometimes form we sometimes a noun from a verb. A noun of a verb. From a verb. From a verb. By adding the letters by adding er the letters to the verb. Er to the verb. Very good. Give me some examples. Give me some examples, please. Eat eater. Eat eater. Walk walker. 
Walk, walk. Speak, speaker. Speak, speaker. Very good. Are you a hard worker? Are you a hard worker? Yes or no? Yes. I'm a hard worker. I'm a hard worker. Are you a complete beginner in English? Are you a complete beginner in English? No, I'm not no, a complete not beginner complete in English. Beginner in English. I began. I began. Uh, years ago. Uh, yeah. Years so, ago. What? Well, well, years ago. Very good. Okay. Are you a heavy sleeper? Are you a heavy sleeper? Yes or no? Yes. I'm a heavy sleeper. I'm a heavy sleeper. Who's your favorite writer? Who's your favorite writer? My favorite writer is... My favorite writer is uh, Mr. Kishi. Very good. Do you hope you'll live a very long time? Do you hope you'll live a very long time? Yes or no? No. I don't hope. I don't I hope. live a very I long time. A very long time. Very good. Do you think it's important to be positive about life and full of hope for the future? Do you think it's important to be positive about life and full of hope for the future? Yes, I yes. think it's I think important, it's important to, be positive about life to be positive about life and full of hope for the future. And full of hope in the future. For the future. Uh, for the future. Very good. Do you hope the weather will be sunny tomorrow? Do you hope the weather will be sunny tomorrow? Yes. yes. I hope the weather hope will the be weather sunny tomorrow. Will be sunny tomorrow. Very well. Anyway, it's still summer, right? Very good. <laughs> okay. Very good. So that's the end of our revision. Let's have new work. Okay. Okay. Repeat. Believe. Believe. Planet. P planet. Planet. Very good. Okay. Okay. Listen. To believe is a verb. It means to think that someone or something is true, as you believe. For example, my mother says I'm handsome. Well, I believe everything my mother tells me. <laughs> Planet is a noun. For example, Mars, Venus, Uranus, etc. Mm -hmm. I believe there is life on other planets. Okay, let's practice. Okay. Do you believe everything people tell you? Do you believe everything people tell you? Yes or no? Oh. No, no, I don't believe everything, I don't believe people, tell everything people tell me. Some things I believe, some things I believe and some things I some disbelieve. Where do you believe there is life on other planets? Do you believe there is life on other planets? Yes or no? Yes. I believe, I believe there is life, there is life on, other planets. on other planets. Very good. Do you believe it will be possible in the future for people to live until they're 200 years old? Do you believe it will be possible in the future for people to live until they're 200 years old? Yes or no? Mm, no. I don't believe. I don't believe. It will be possible. It will be possible in the future. In the for future, people to live. For people to live until they're until 200 years they're old. 200 years old. Very good. Okay, next repeat. Do the shopping. Do the shopping. Go shopping. Go shopping. List. List. Uh, list. Very good. Okay, listen. Mm -hmm. To do the shopping means to buy the things that are necessary for the house, such as food, etc. For example, I generally do the shopping every Sunday. To go shopping means to visit shops generally. We sometimes go shopping and come home with nothing. For example, I love to go shopping with my friends. List is a noun. It is a record or a short piece of information usually arrange one below the other so that they can be read easily or counted. For example, when I do the shopping, I don't make a list before going to the supermarket. That's why I forget a lot of things. Let's practice. What's the difference between to do the shopping and to go shopping? What's the difference between to do the shopping and to go shopping? The difference between, the difference to, between do the shopping to do the shopping and to go, and shopping, to go shopping is that to do the is shopping means to, do the shopping to buy means the things to that buy are the necessary things for the house that are the necessary for the house such as food etc uh, such, such as, as food, food et whereas et to go whereas, shopping means go shopping to means visit shops generally to visit shops generally very good when you do the shopping do you make a list before going to the supermarket when you do the shopping do you make a list before going to the supermarket yes or no no. When I do the shopping, when I do the shopping, I don't make a list. I don't make a list before going to the supermarket. Going to the supermarket. Do you ever go shopping and come home with nothing? 
Do you ever go shopping and come home with nothing? Yes or no? Oh, yes. I sometimes go, I shopping, sometimes go shopping and come home with nothing. Come home with nothing. Very good. Next, repeat. Smile. Smile. Very good. Okay, listen. Smile is a verb. When we smile, we are happy. Okay, <laughs> let's practice. Do people generally smile when they're unhappy? Do people generally smile when they're unhappy? No. No. People don't generally, People smile, don't generally smile when they're, unhappy. when they're unhappy. That's good news. Put a smile on your face. That's good news. Put a smile on your face. Yes. Good yes. news. Good puts news. a smile on my face. Put the, put, put the smile. Puts a smile, put the smile on my face. On my face. Very good. One more. Yes. Good news. Yes. Puts good a news. smile on my face. Put to put to smile. Puts a smile. Put a smile. Okay. Put, yeah, good. Puts a smile. Yeah. One more. Yes. On good news. Yes. Good Puts news. a smile. Puts a smile on my on face. My face. Very good. good. Next, repeat oh, our favorite word. Tax. Tax. Very good. Axe. Okay. Listen. <laughs> tax is a noun. It means the money that we must pay to the government. For example, mm -hmm. I have to pay a tax to the government if I buy a house. Yeah, let's practice. Do you have to pay a tax to the government if you buy a foreign car? Do you have to pay a tax to the government if you buy a foreign car? Yes or no? Yes. I have to pay a tax. I have to pay a tax to the government if I the buy government. a foreign car. If I buy um, a I, foreign car. Uh, when I buy a foreign car. Very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next, let's repeat the three forms of verbs. The three forms of a verb. Very good. Okay, now let's talk about the three forms of a verb. Okay. So repeat. The present. The present. The past. The past. And the past participle. The past participle. Very good. So those are the three forms of a verb. Okay, repeat. Walk, walk, walk. Walk, walked, walk. Cut, cut, cut. Cut, cut, cut. Sit, tat, tat. Mm, sorry, could sit, you... Sit, tat, tat. Sit, like, tap, tap. Yeah, like sitting down. Sit, sat, tat. Ah, uh, sit, sit, sat, tat. Okay. Very good. See, saw, seen. See, saw, seen. Very good. Okay. Present. I see him every week. Present. I, I see him every week. Past. I saw him last huh. week. Oh. I saw him last week. Past participle, I have seen him this week. Past participle, uh, I have I've seen, seen him, him this week. Seen him this week. Very good. Okay, listen. Generally speaking, each verb in English has three forms that you must learn. The present, the past, and the past participle. For example, the three forms of the verb to see are see, saw, seen. Where the word see is the present. Saw is the past, and seen is the past participle. Okay, let's practice. What are the three forms of an English verb? What are the three forms of an English verb? The three forms the three of forms an English verb, an English verb are the present, are a present the, pas the, past, the, the past, and the past participle. And the past participle. Very good. Give me an example. Give me an example, please. The saw seen. I see him every week. I, I see him every week. I saw him last week. I saw him last week. I have seen him this week. I have seen him last week. This week. Ah, uh, this week. Very good. Okay, next listen. With regular verbs, when we say regular verbs, the second and the third forms are the same. The past and the past participle are the same. For example, kill, killed, killed. So that's regular verb. When we say irregular verbs, sometimes all the forms are the same. For example, put, 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 cut, cut, cut. That's irregular verb. Sometimes in irregu an irregular verb, the two forms are the same. The first and the third. Like come, came, come. Okay. And sometimes all three forms are different. For example, give, gave, given. Shake, shook, shaken. So those are irregular verbs. Okay, let's practice. What are the three forms of kill? What are the three forms of kill? 
the three forms the of three kill forms of are kill, kill, kill. Uh, kill, kill, kill. What are the three forms of put? What are the three forms of put? The three forms, the three of, forms put of put are put. Put put. Uh, put put put. What are the three forms of come? What are the three forms of come? The three forms, the three of, forms come of come are come came uh, come. Come came come. What are the three forms of give? What are the three forms of give? The three forms, the three forms of, give of give are give is, gave uh, given. Give gave given. Very yeah, good. Okay, so now let's move on to reading. Okay. Very good. So our reading is at stage three, paragraph page one hundred and ninety-three. Last head word was understand. Okay, so please start. If the first time you don't understand the question, the teacher asks you. Okay. Uh, I just. Uh, stage three, one hundred ninety-three. Okay, stage three. Okay. Okay. So start at. Uh, the question is at page one hundred ninety four. If the first time, uh, okay, one. Ah, uh, sorry. One nine four. Yeah. So I I usually leave the text on the desktop. Uh huh. But I think my son. Uh -huh, <laughs> my, son okay. my son. Yeah. Delete that. <laughs> Can you page. open it or let's skip reading oh, yes, for today? I'm, I'm opening. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm okay. opening the, Okay. So, okay. Yeah. And, uh, Maybe your son said. So what? What's page? What's page? Ba stage three, page one hundred ninety-four. One hundred ninety-four. The first question. Okay. One hundred ninety-four. Ninety-four. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Uh, the first word is uh, stop. And the first question, if the first time. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. If the first time you don't understand a question that teacher asks you, what must you do? If the first time I don't understand a question the teacher asks me, I must ask him to repeat it. What exactly do you say to him? I say, I'm sorry. I don't understand the question. Will you will you repeat it, please? Stop. Do you think it's easy to stop smoking? No, I don't think I don't think it's easy to stop smoking. And next one ninety five. Talk. talk, voice. However, what's that? What does the verb to talk mean? The verb to talk means to speak. Do you talk to your friends on your mobile every day? No, I don't talk to my friends on my mobile every day. What does the teacher generally do if you start talking to the students next to you during the lesson? If I start talking to the students next to me during the lesson, the teacher generally asks me to stop talking. Is it right to say I am talking English? No, it it's not right to say I am talking English. It's wrong. What must we say instead? We must say I am speaking English instead. Good. Can you hear any voices in the next room? No, I can't hear any voices in the next room. Did. The past tense of the verb to do is did. Oh, What's the past tense of the verb to do? The past tense of the verb to do is did. And from regular, how? Did you walk a lot? Yes, I walked a lot. Yesterday? Yesterday. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, did you walk a lot yesterday? <laughs> yesterday, okay. <laughs> no, I did not walk a lot yesterday. Okay. Okay, so, but we stopped there for today. But okay. very